Hey guys, in this video I will be reviewing an application called Dash Command. It's an app which requires a Bluetooth device which acts like a bridge between the car's ECU and your smartphone or tablet. First of all, you need to enable Bluetooth on your tablet and then go to Bluetooth settings and pair them manually. You will also need to add a code, which was 1234. After that, enter Dash Command and hit the connect button. And you're connected. It's pretty great to have this app on your device and I'll tell you exactly why. Firstly, this app can be useful to diagnose your car. Of course, basic important fault codes, airbags, ABS, engine, probably for the transmission as well, but it's limited. However, it can be useful if a fault light appears and you're wondering what's causing it. Secondly, you can monitor your engine's temperature, intake temperature, boost and other parameters which are hidden in the ECU but are not displayed in your instrument cluster. For instance, I have 102 horsepower and 148 Nm, which is equivalent to around 109 pound-feet. And lastly, it's fun. You can see how fast your car is, you can do 0 to 60 times, quarter mile times and more. My favorite part of this application is the G-meter, which basically tells you in real time the acceleration and lateral accelerations of your car. The app is free in the Play Store and in the Apple Store, but guess what? I don't know if I used the app for more than one hour and the app suddenly stopped. It got me in evaluation mode, which is basically nothing, it's a kind of standby. If I want to use it more, I have to create an account and pay $10. Abusive marketing, the thing I hate most. Other apps such as Torque or Torque Pro have the same specifications and features and the same price, around $10. If you want the same layout that I used in this video, you would need a suction cup for the windscreen, a tablet, the ELM Bluetooth device and the app. You would probably need at least $200. You could use this on your phone too, but you would need a larger display in my opinion. So this is my review of the Dash Command application, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.